I don't wanna wait for our lives to Bow. be over anymore. Bow. I don't wanna wait for Bow. our lives to be over anymore. She's smoking ecstasy. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Like on songs, when you know the hook, you'll just start the hook and you just don't. You'll mumble. It's, every- not, it's not every song though. It's like <laughs> it's like classic shit though. Why is it classics that you just only know one part but of the song? Why is Dawson Creek song a classic? That shit was hot. That shit was hot. Now man. does Gen Z know about Dawson's Creek? Nah, fuck no. Nah, they don't nah, know about. Don't, they don't know about. Don't uh, what's his name from uh, Mighty Ducks? Who was in that? Uh, Joshua Jackson. Joshua Jackson. Okay, he played in. He played Percy or Casey, Pacey or some shit in the show. In Mighty Ducks. He was the main nigga on Mighty Ducks. You know the main nigga on Mighty Ducks. The uh, with the hair. Yeah, the young nigga. Oh, okay. You know who he married? Who? The black girl from Queen and Slim. Fuck no. Yes. Joshua Jackson got a little sister, chocolate. That's random as fuck. Why is that random? How did they worlds collide? He's the actor. What is he acting in besides the Mighty Duck shit? He's been in a lot of shit. I don't know. You don't even know. That's what I'm saying. He's been in shit, though. Yeah, okay. I feel like he had the 90s on lock. Who didn't have the 90s on lock? What do you mean? That's act. That's an actor. It's a lot of niggas that had the 90s on lock that don't act no more. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's just a whole different- It's a whole- I guess if you survived the 90s, you're like top now. It's like Will Smith in 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 the Chris Rock stage. Like They're like legends because they were legends in the 90s. Mm-hmm. Kind of the 80s, too. I guess Chris Rock, you give him the 80s. I think Will Smith is a legend because he's just a legend. He's put out great shit. All throughout the 90s and early 2000s. Chris Rock's a legend? Yes. Chris Rock's not a legend? I'm going to be real with you. I don't fuck with Chris Rock at all. Not even. Really? I think he's not funny. Really? Not even a little bit. Really? I'm going to be real with you. I think Chris- Speak your mind. Chris Rock is funny to, to white people. That's who like Chris Rock. I, black people don't like Chris Rock like I that. I definitely yeah. agree with you that Chris Rock is the token- like, if you want to say mainstream celebrity, okay, like, you know how you got, like, what's his face? Uh, the black dude that be with Seth Rogen in them, Craig Robinson. Uh, He's, like, their black guy. Because who's their black guy? Nobody. Him, right? Yeah. So you got Chris. So you, have, you have to have a token black Chris guy. Chris Rock now. is the super, because his best friends are, like, Adam Sandler. Are they? Yeah, they was all on, like, fuck, that's his clique. They did Grown Ups. They did one movie. I've not They did two movies. All right, okay. I have not seen Adam Sandler with Chris Rock like that. I see Adam Sandler with his homies that he puts in his movies. But he's part of Adam Sandler's clique. That's Adam Sandler's black guy. I'm just not giving Chris Rock no credit. Is that not right Adam now. Sandler's black guy? Chris Rock. That's like Adam Sandler homie. That's why all the comedians. Is it? That's why all the comedians was. Wait, did you see Chris Rock's brother? Nah, I, he was <laughs> no. He was trending on Twitter this morning, but I didn't I didn't click it. Bro, he was fucking tripping. Hold on. We got What's his name? Something Tony Rock? Tony Rock. Rock. But the funny thing about Tony it, Rock is that he's, he's a nigga brother. He's a he's a he's an actual nigga. Like, hold on, but, my brother and shit. The funny thing about it though is exactly exactly. Look, no, what's funny about it is that fucking the on the last show he was on was that show. Uh, was it all of us? <laughs> that was about Jada. Remember Will Smith and Jada? They made that show a long time ago, and it was about like them. Damn, I did not see that show. He was in it, doing what? <laughs> so is he saying he's challenging Will Smith? What is, what is he saying? He came out to Tupac. What is he on? He came out to Tupac and he said, uh, wait, you got it's the real one. We got to get the one with the cursing in it. What's up with everybody's energy, like, posting what they would do? Why not? Did anybody say this to Will? Up? Why you didn't pull up? Yeah. I, bet, I bet you you won't say that to Will. Do you direct this energy towards See, Will? And this is something what we're talking about in this. Like, okay. All right, first of all, how do you feel about the slap? What is your... I'm 50-50 with it. Like, I feel Will Smith, but then I feel everybody else saying, oh, he should never did it. Yeah, like... I understand why he did it because he felt that he was trying to, he was being maliciously, maliciously embarrassed in front of the Oscars. Like, he didn't feel like it was like a regular joke. I understand what he felt like he was like being you, challenged. Like, yeah, like, nigga, you're coming at me for real. Because they'd be like, oh, they was like, oh, he was laughing and he was going laughing. But it's like, nigga, 
I was laughing because like I don't nigga, look on camera and it was probably mad just fuck, like, and it was probably just it probably hit me at first. It was like maybe it was a little humorous at first, but then when you saw the 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 stature of the joke, you see my my wife get fucking pissed. She laughed and was like, "Oh, hold on." She was like, "Bitch, hold on, bitch ass nigga." And then he go, "I just hate that it had to be two, you know, legends like that, like at the Oscars." Because we all know Oscars. I just wish he slapped him off camera somewhere else. He should have slapped him off camera. I wish he just waited. You feel me? Like, hey, that's a good job. And slapped that nigga. Yeah, you feel because me? he got a. Well, he's fucking. Uh, he got he resigned from the academy today. Who? Will Smith. So, I mean, or yesterday. He, he loses his award. I I don't think he loses his award, but. The Academy, you know, they it's like a big vote. They yeah. vote who wins the awards and stuff. So, so he, he's gonna never win an award again, basically. I don't think he'll be able to win an award anymore. And I don't think he'll be able to like vote for anything, like as far as like So they're just taking his celebrity card away. It's just like you're taking his caliber of I don't think he'll be able to do like an Oscar. He don't have an opinion movie. basically no more. He doesn't have an opinion. Which yeah, like he might still be able to do an Oscar but they don't, movie. They, they don't want to hear nothing from you. They don't want to hear your opinion. Your opinion doesn't matter anymore. You, you don't have a vote nothing. anymore. We're not putting Will under nothing no more. Yeah. You probably won't host nothing anymore. Well, I wonder, does it matter if that's if that's the case, does it matter that he's an Academy Award winning actor now? I know Chris Rock got to feel fucked up though too. Like no matter what, like even though he's the one that got slapped, I know he got to feel bad that like damn, like I I didn't made a joke that fucking made this nigga so hot that he killed my like I killed his whole legacy. Like I wouldn't say he killed Will Smith's he legacy. He killed his legacy, but, but he 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 fucked up a crucial moment in Will Smith's life. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a crucial moment. You won a fucking Academy Award. It's not even that many black people. You seen Denzel Academy. had to come talk to him. Denzel, Tyler Perry, fucking had to come here, come here. <laughs> Bradley Cooper. Come I was here, wondering brother. what the he white acting, dude. He what acting crazy in front of these white people. You gotta chill out. We gotta calm down now. Oh man, you know that's the first thing they think. They're like, but that's 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 everybody's reaction. Like, oh shit, we doing this in front of everybody. Like, y'all can do this privately. Like, like yeah, y'all know each other for real. You feel me? Like, yeah, I didn't know they were like homies. I didn't know they were homies like that. Cause you know you got Will Smith the action star, and then you got like but Chris Will Rock, Smith is a comedian. I guess he's a comedian. How you, you can't even say he's a comedic actor. You can't say he's an action star. He came out as a comedian. He's actually starting yeah. now. Did he really come out as a comedian? Fresh, Fresh Prince. Prince. Fresh a, Prince. Yeah. He, what was Fresh Prince? That's a comedy like black drama sitcom. But I wouldn't say he's a comedian because you can see he, the. He's not a yeah, exact. He's and not see, stand up, but you, he's, that's what I'm saying. You see the distinction from Will Smith and Chris Rock because. The whole comedian, all, every comedian is coming to Chris Rock's fucking aid right now. That's yeah. the big thing. Like, because and, you know, comedy is no holds, even will even it's no holds bar. Like, you could, you what, should be able to say what you want and all. Without getting smacked, you feel me? But not in these days. You can't really. You gotta, I mean, well, you got to think for that to happen. It's like Will Smith changed the fucking like. So you saying the, people gonna be scared to say certain jokes and shit now? If will Smith could do it in the Oscar. Why can't I do it at a fucking comedy show? And smack the shit out of a fucking that's local fucking comedian. Up, that's that, fucking that, up inter- that's what everybody's gonna think. That's fucking up entertainment, though. He fucked up entertainment. Think about it. If that would happen, it happened. That happens at comedy clubs all the time. Like niggas get into it and stuff like that. But when Will Smith does it on that big platform, so it's like, oh yes, okay. The then. Oscars, the most, the place where it's supposed to be like your best behavior, be your best behavior ever. Then, then it's Is like that the highest award show. Yeah. Fuck like yeah. Like I don't watch it. So you gotta I go. I don't tune in. So, like, me? if you're in the entertainment business, will never get another, like, you can't go bigger than the Oscars. That's you know? the biggest thing. That's Look, you go Oscars, yeah. Emmys, Grammys, and Tonys. There's four awards that you can win as an entertainer: Oscar for movies, Grammy for music, Tony for plays, and then uh, Emmys for TV shows. So he, so he already, huh? yeah, Golden Globe, Emmys, an Emmy, an oh, Emmy, okay. an Emmy is a Golden Globe. So it's like. Nigga, like, think about it. He'll never. But didn't he already win all of those besides the Oscar now? No, he only had an Oscar. And he had a Grammy. He's the first rapper to ever win a Grammy. For what song? Get jiggy with it? Uh, I think Summertime. Why are you laughing? No, that's a, <laughs> nigga, that's a fucking banger. <laughs> he said, get jiggy with it. Y'all laughing. Like, that's a banger for That's real. a banger, but no, he made he won the first Look, Grammy. Niggas is laughing about Will's music. That, he has bangers. Wait, hold nigga, on. Like, I didn't laugh about Will Smith's music. I said, get jiggy with it. He started laughing. It's just like, funny because, like, like, nigga, nigga like, that's way later, nigga. Like, that's so way. Summertime. I don't, I don't know. Summertime. I wasn't following Will Smith's career, nigga. I believe, I believe, career, nigga. Like, I believe it's summertime. Him and DJ Jazzy Jeff. That's a bank, summer. Time. That's the first. Uh... Just sit back in the wine. <laughs> <laughs> I got that black bitch in the back going crazy. Oh, sit back in. Why we don't know her? Don't you notice that in the nineties, like you'll have somebody on the song. Was, they don't, they that was somebody get... auntie that, that was braiding hair. Like, you want? We're gonna give you five hundred. You can sing. She was braiding somebody hair in the studio. They just jumped yeah. in there. And hey, we're gonna give you five hundred. No contract. No credit. No contract. No, no credit. 
and we're gonna put it on the radio. It's gonna be the last no royalty. Either. <laughs> yeah, no royalty. This shit gonna blow. <laughs> we're in the studio like this. We're shit gonna put gonna you blow. in the video. We ain't gonna put your name on it. You see me? You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be in the video. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it was back in the day. Well, like who was that on that trail? That's the home girl. The home girl. Like, the home girl Keisha from down the block. Yeah, we don't pay her though. She cool as fuck she though. Came she went to be. She went a little, get a little singing. Every now and then. We told her we gonna work on her album. <laughs> Niggas. <laughs> niggas, niggas don't be trying to get nobody credit. <laughs> That's uh, if you listen like to all the old Death Row and like all who is the, all them extra niggas all, in the back? Wait, like uh, what's that fucking uh, what's that song by Tupac? That niggas out here chilling. <laughs> uh, who is that? They who is that? To play to hate. They uh, she probably living in this apartment. We don't know. <laughs> we probably really know her for fuck real. Is she? Like she should at least have like she had a, one legendary intro and that was it. That was like she good. We don't want her to blow. Damn. We don't want her to blow. You just use her for one track and get another girl. That's a crazy fucking. We don't want him to blow. We're not giving nobody no shit. They don't want to give too much juice out. Nope, you know what I'm saying? You gotta keep the juice. You can't give too much juice out. You're gonna run with the juice and be seen with them <laughs> other niggas. You're supposed to be death row. <laughs> You're supposed to be death row. <laughs> Have you been seeing all this shit like with the whole Snoop Dogg buying death row thing? Yeah. What do you think about that? I feel like it's, it's dope, but like. <laughs> Don't he like he don't own the music though? Don't, no. So I guess <clears throat> what I've seen it. What? I would. I don't. I don't know. Like the NFT thing, he's turning Death Row Records into like a NFT label. Bro, it's genius. Everybody, you're gonna have to pay. You have to buy an album to listen to it, like it was in the old days before streaming. That's and it's oh, just that's gonna that. be digital instead of an oh. actual physical okay. copy. So he's, he's getting all his money basically. Yes, bro. Okay. He never got paid for any of his music on Death Row. He's getting it all back. That's smart, then. Well, I heard I that. I just didn't no, understand it. I'm like, I heard, he don't own the music. No, like. I heard the deal was that he got his catalog back, Ooh. and he got a lot of the early records of Death Row, but he, the, it doesn't include the Dr. Dre albums, and it doesn't include the Tupac albums. So there's a bunch of- So it don't include he, the bangers. It don't include those bangers, at least. No, that's the bangers. <laughs> so, no, so E1, E1 record label E1. bought all the rights to the music, and then BlackRock bought, all, bought E1. But wasn't that way before Snoop, though? No, no, like, no, it was like in the, the last, last year or two. The last I thought they years. said somebody like, bought Death Row uh, so rights black, records like they 10 did. Years they bought ago. the they bought the so like E one did. Well, he What's owns that? is a record label. Snoop Dogg okay. owns the like the uh, trademark, so I guess he can make merch. Yeah, I know that. And all that shit, but not the music though. He can drop music, uh, new music under the label now. The brand he has the brand now, but isn't he already? He can drop new music. Is he Def Jam though? He's, a he's president. Def Jam he's West. The, he's the president of Def Jam. You can have different jobs. Because think about it. When Def, Remember when Jay-Z was president of Def Jam? Yeah. He was still running Rockefeller. He still owned Rockefeller. He was hot. That's like right I'm now. I'm Rockefeller, but I'm Def Jam. Yeah, you can be that fucking... Yeah, you can be an Interscope a and and you can be a Def Jam A&R. Two different A&Rs. Like, they well, want your, so I get they want your he genius. He's not signed to Def Jam. He's just a president. He don't have to drop He's doing business Def with them. Jam. Yeah, he's doing business with them. Is he even signed? He's not signed to Def Jam. No, is he signed, period, to anybody? No, I think he's probably CEO. Probably okay. just independent. Remember, he was geffing the last time I heard. Because, because you know what it is. Yeah, he probably he probably has a personal deal with a label, but like he's not signed to Def Jam. I mean, to Death Row or Def Jam. He just has he's doing. So he's, any so he could he's drop, an executive. So there. he could drop music under Death Row and make money off of it. Basically, he can drop music under Death Row, but he just doesn't own certain music. Yeah, he don't own like the Snoop Dogg shit. Like, I mean, he doesn't own like the Dr. Dre. He bought the brand. He bought the the Death Row brand. He could do whatever he want with it now. So man. now, from this point forward, everything, it's all, all the music is he everything. Because I think he signed Nate Dogg's son. You saw the, yeah, seen that. the inhale thing. Yeah, I seen that. What do you think about him? That's cool. He's pretty cool. I, I, I seen West Coast. I seen Nate Dogg's son. He had went viral on Twitter for something back in the day, and I ended up seeing that nigga at Santa Monica, Santa Monica College. I was walking on campus, and I was like, "Ain't you Nate Dogg's son?" He was like. <laughs> yeah, why? It was right through the Twitter thing. I was asking you on Twitter. He was like, "Hell yeah, you seen that?" I was like, "Yeah, shit was funny." Well, he was singing. No, nah, I was over a bitch, like some ex, some ex bitch or something. I don't know. It's like niggas, like 2015, 14. It's a long time ago. You younger than us, huh? Got to be younger than us. Yeah. Everybody younger than us. Yeah, kinda. Yeah. We're like the, the we're like the seniors, class seniors, super seniors. We're like if this was the we Grassi, we're like in we the got, we got held back. Yeah, exactly. That's not cool. Yeah, you think it's cool. talking about exactly? That's, that's not cool, cool to be held back. I like that. Don't don't preach that to these. If kids. we're putting Being ourselves in a high school not, universe, no, don't do that. Yes, if we're putting ourselves in the high you school. Want to be a high school universe. We're, we're in the high man. school universe. We're not in the high school universe. We we're grown men. No, we're seniors. We're grown men that got held back. We are grown men, and we are not in no type of school. We're in the high school. system at all. We're the seniors. No, in Eddie Bakerland. Yeah. 
We're like the held back seniors. I don't know why you think being held back is cool right now. Like, it's not cool kids to get held back unless you're us and make it look cool. Am I wrong about that? I'm, I'm not held back. I'm a grown man. I'm not in no school. In life school, we're held back. No, in life school, I'm where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> no, I don't understand not. what you're saying. Whatever. You want to be in high school? I don't want to be in high That's school. That's freaking me out right now. I don't miss high school. I'm not one of those guys that are like really, uh, I'm not really like a uh, reminisce. I feel like a lot of people reminisce on the high school. I don't reminisce on the high school. High school is cool. I'm not going to reminisce. I had a good time in high school. Yeah, it was dope. It was cool. I feel like when you're not doing work and like just social, you have a lot of fun time in high school. I didn't really like have all the stresses of all like the school work. I let you wasn't in there doing no work. Yeah, I let that shit go. Walking around probably with just a folder. Already high all the time, selling edibles, weed. I had fun. Like I feel like people you that was stri- the, hey, you were the nigga that parents say don't hang out with that school. Oh, of that course, was yeah. Already smoking. I was smoking every day. Already smoking weed, ditching. Oh man, you were probably pulling up to school and telling niggas to ditch. Like, let's ditch. I would pull up to school and sometimes I wouldn't go in for sure. Oh, you would just get dropped off and dip. As soon as I saw my mom leave, I'm like, "Damn, you was bad. You made your mom use her gas money. Wake up oh, early college in was the even morning. Worse. College drop you off and you left. Let's talk and about. She gave you some lunch money too. When I went to college to get my high school credits because I didn't graduate. Hey, no, 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 no. Why does every fucking body that fails high school try to go to college? And <laughs> <laughs> we try to go to community. Try college. to be all cool, <laughs> nigga. Take your ass back to the high <laughs> school campus and finish. You try to make hey. it seem like you graduated, but you really getting the high school diploma. Hey, Walking on oh campus. What God. you here for? Oh, I'm just here doing this one class. What one class? <laughs> in the math. Where at? Now you try to try to you be all cool, the way in like, the back. You're like, not even in the real you campus. Got, you feel me? Like, you, you in the little the, uh, you in the little, the cupboard, that, little you, cupboard of it. What do you call the it? little office? Little cubby. <laughs> what do you call those fucking things? The little pull call, up school. What do you call those? What AC? Call you know the, the little, fucking the bungalows. Little, not the bungalow. They like the. <laughs> <laughs> in the back of the it's school, it's not even no nigga. real shit. It's just for, I wasn't it's, in that. It's shit. for high school niggas that did that want to finish. Oh my god, nigga! This is a bunch of bad niggas in and there. And then when you're done with there, you just chill on campus all day, like, smoke weed. Here, nigga, like, yeah, I been here in the morning. Like, like nigga, the portable, yeah. like the portable, the portable, portable. Yeah. fucking portable. You went to the portables to sign up for the, the GED board. class <laughs> on the <laughs> college me, campus. Nigga. Like everybody that wasn't that was good me. in school did that. I promise you, because I did that route too. I did that Mount Sac though. I went. I went outside. I did that Mount Sac. I went outside. Oh, I like. Oh, I'm gonna go to Mount Sac with it. Hey, niggas bar. think you getting out of town? Like, oh, I, ain't, but I ain't see, going to LA, but I'm gonna go to. I'm, I'm gonna go to. But you see all the old niggas in Mount Sac, though. Everybody went to Mount Sac. Why does everybody in Ontario go to Mount Sac? I take Chafee down the street. I remember I was selling weed at Mount Sac, and a nigga tried to rob me. I remember I was like selling weed to these football players, a bunch of football players. You know, I'm short, nigga. Man, and so the, the, nigga was, the nigga was like, uh, he's like, let me see the weed, let me smell it. I'm like, man, I ain't no. I'm already hey, thinking like, no, 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 street, nigga. Look, look. I'm selling drugs. You bigger than me. You can't smell nothing. You was big as hell, too. You can't smell big or wide look receiver at ass nothing. nigga. I'm not letting you do none of that. So the nigga, I'm like, all right, whatever, nigga. So I'm like, all right, here. He go like, ah, right, yeah, hell yeah. I'm good looking. Nigga, he tried to go out. Walk off. Like, nigga, I grabbed that nigga by his fucking neck. Like, nigga, you on, you on campus <laughs> to be a football player, nigga. Don't ruin <laughs> yeah, that I shit. Nigga. You, he was all like, all right, chill, chill. So you know, nigga had to see what you was gonna do. Yeah, nigga, yeah, I'm, bitch, crazy, I'm ready to get kicked out this bitch. I'm up here for GED, nigga. No, you don't want to lose your scholarship. I already go here for real. <laughs> I lose it all in the can- on this campus right now. <laughs> you don't want to lose your GED, you lose your, your, career. your, your you scholarship. Lose your career up here, nigga. I'm gonna fuck about you, no ball, nigga. You smoking weed and shit, nigga. <laughs> Wait, you, you want to get the trap, niggas? You get in the fight for selling weed for buying weed at Mount Sac? Yeah, ain't you, you up here to play ball? Yeah, bitch, I'm ready to go down for this shit, nigga. Nigga, I ain't even going to school. I was on Mount Sac campus one day and I seen my cousin from Compton there. I said, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing here? Nigga playing football and all Bro, that type of shit. Every Ontario nigga was there. I said, why is y'all up here? Every Ontario nigga was I there. went up there with beans to fucking His ass up. was there. I, he I, tried to play football, but the niggas was too big. He went that first three days and was like, yeah, these niggas too big out here. I was like, nigga, this is college, nigga. Because niggas there was trying to go to like a four year. Yeah, they ain't, here, like they ain't just playing to play. I was over that shit. These niggas out here from the kill niggas for real. I would. I never really like saw myself as like a college nigga. An athlete? Just a college nigga in general, like school period. I wanted to go to college when I saw like American Pie. You're lame. I wanted to be like party college stiffler. You're lame. Yeah, I want to do some fun shit. You're lame. 
You wanted to go to school? No, I've never wanted to go to school. I hate school. <laughs> I'm like you're niggas. Know I don't like school. Man. I don't like, like school. I don't feel like as I soon as I was old enough and smart enough to not go to school and finesse it, I stopped <laughs> this going. This nigga said old enough and smart enough. You to feel not me? Like I just knew what to say and not not go to class. And... I always felt like that. I always felt like I was too smart for school. No, nah, I don't. I didn't feel like I was too smart. I just felt like it was wasting my time. What did school really teach you that you retain that you don't know now though? Like, it's, like what do I really need that I learned in school? Like, I know how to like. I just, I just I always knew I'm not going to be no nigga going to be no business suit type nigga or going to no college. Oh, I knew I wasn't that. For no profession. You know why? Because so once you learn like how to sell weed, you're like, shit, I'm going to just find something else. Like, yeah, I can sell shit. I can sell weed? All right. That's, right, that's gonna... what it is. Once you learn how to sell weed in school, you, you're like. You, you think you're the entrepreneur oh, now. Yeah. Like, yeah, I ain't going to school. I'm finna you're ahead of the game. Because you see your homies like working on little regular jobs and shit. you like, nigga, I'm not even doing that shit. tired. You're like, nigga, I don't want to do that. Smoking weed, fucking doing shit. I remember that shit. All back in the day. Parents like, what you finna do? So I don't, I'm, not, I'm, I'm doing this right here. Oh, yeah. How you getting money? So I'm getting money. I'm getting money. Niggas know you selling weed but don't want to say nothing because <laughs> you buying your own shit and shit. Black parents is crazy. <laughs> Why are black parents like this? Don't want you to sell weed but they know never, you selling weed and not finna say nothing. That's so real because I don't think I won't ever say My nothing. My parents like, never said one word. No, nothing. damn well, I don't have a job. That's I'm so buying real. my own shoes, clothes. I'm not asking y'all for money no more. I'm going out every day, Man. putting gas. I bought my first car. So Buying it's like, them little shit. So it's like, what are you doing? You, you never asked what I was doing. Why you didn't ask? Because it's like, how do you ask your kid if they're selling drugs? No, because we going to do, oh, you selling weed? Stop. No. <laughs> it's like. Do you want me to be broke? I guess it's like they don't want to say nothing unless you get like go to jail or something like then that. Then it's like, you better stop doing that shit. I told you. You ain't yeah, told me exactly. nothing. You didn't told... say nothing. Yeah, you, when you tell me this, you told me, you told me growing up, don't sell weed. But as a time, you I was, it was selling bad. It. Yeah, you feel me? You but know, we I'm, watched gangster movies you know, our I'm whole in the house, life. High as hell. How, how many gangster movies you put on or fucking gangster trap shit that, that I, you don't watch with me? Black movies that I watched. That... A million. That's all we watched. <laughs> we ain't putting no inspirational shit on. We watching fucking Belly. We watching fucking Men's baby boys, society, society, boys in every, the hood. Every video of somebody. Scarface. Of people just fucking. Niggas ain't put on no, no, getting in the no, streets. Little, no shit for us. We was watching just gangster 90 movies. That's funny as hell. It's a, it's a war season right now. Why are you on your phone? I'm like trying to get like inspiration. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. I got some stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm always ready. Don't think I'm, you think I'm not ready? I, I don't. I think you're not ready. I think I'm always ready. You just finally found a topic. And I didn't you, find anything actually. Then what do you? Then I how just are scrolled. You ready? I did a little fucking. You that was more than a. You were kind of into it. It was like a scroll. It wasn't a scroll because you were deeply. Into it was like it. I was casually. Whenever you're deeply into it and not looking at somebody, it's not. a it's scroll. It's like you were talking and I'm listening while I'm casually That's why about it's to not change a scroll. the topic of conversation. That's why it's not a scroll. Because I was going to talk about Kanye West not being let into the Grammys. Why didn't let Kanye in? You, can't perform this year. No, he can't even be in the group. He's not invited. Why? Because of the Pete Davidson shit like that. Nigga, fuck Pete. You know, we don't, remember, we don't call him Pete on this show. Skeet. He's Skeet on this show. Fuck Skeet. Let my nigga He's Kanye come in there and fuck show. that shit up. That's fucked up. <clears throat> nigga, Kanye, you didn't let Kanye perform at the Grammy? So the award show, so you're telling me the biggest rapper in the world. So you didn't want to hear, I had actor. a dream about my, uh, uh, about no, my we neck. We wanted to hear that. Easy. That, that's why Gang was talking about. He's like, "Fuck y'all." Oh, Gang wants to go. Gang wants to go crazy. <laughs> at the game. Gang wants to go game crazy. Said, at the fuck game. Like, man, we just dropped a banger. Because these are, you know, Game is already pissed. He didn't get to perform at the fucking uh, Super Bowl. Bowl. That's a big thing. We got the house like niggas. And then Fifty Cent, him and Fifty Cent were going back and forth on that. Aren't they supposed to do a versus? Are they supposed to do a versus? I don't think they. I feel like Fifty Cent, and the Game, been doing a versus would be like on some uh, Gucci Jeezy. Yeah, hell yeah. Cause that's our that shit that we grew up with. We know that's like real. We know that whole beef. That's real beef. We know that whole it's beef. Real beef. Remember they took the pictures when they got fake cool again and game was in the picture I'm like and Fifty was like. I always think about that. Like why was Fifty so happy? And game was just like. Fifty was like, yeah, we back to G and this shit. Let's go. He's like, yeah, that's what it was. Like, I need that. I need you to come back over here. You got to get these sales. Fucking him. Got you still G on right? No, you're on the contract. You ain't aftermath. Four albums. Not aftermath. I wonder just how it would be like. I know Game was pissed. Like you're you're at the home with all your homies. You know, for Game is fucking I'm from rich. LA. Game is rich as shit. So you know he's having some type of big ass Super Bowl party. And like I see all these niggas and pop out. Fifty Game. I said Mary game. J. Blige. <laughs> Eminem. Fuck. Mary J. Blige. I was like, even Mary J. Blige nah. got the invite. I seen Mary. I said, what the fuck. That's random. I ain't gonna lie. That was random. You know her, she, she, her biggest song Dr. is Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre. Yes, exactly. 
I know Game was like, what the fuck? That is kind of fucked. Game, game should have been there, Loki. Now I think. Well, they had Kendrick Lamar. That was every Black Mom theme song. Bro, that that's the biggest song. That that beat is supposed to be the most expensive beat. Heard it was a million. Was so, million dollars. Somebody told me that when I was in middle school. I was like, shut the fuck up. A million dollars for that beat. I don't know. I know why. That was a banger. Nigga, that was a banger for like 20 years. Yeah. Every time it come on, you What was Dre on? He was on Percocet. That's not a sober beat. And they're smoking chronic. Big ass chains. Going up the west side. <laughs> Mary, 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 do that one more time. Yeah, this shit a million for sure. This shit gonna go yeah, crazy. Label, label gonna pay a million for this. You got it? She was looking like. I'm gonna give it to I'll give it to Cube. <laughs> Cube will fuck this up. Man, the studio. <laughs> the label got you, right? Cube said he wanted what it is. These millions. He said Cube will fuck this up. It's one of them ones. Like, you feel me? You sure you ready for that? Oh, shit, You in the studio, nigga. nigga, tell you a million for the beat? Like, hold on. Hey, why you laying it down? <laughs> Wait, the shit ain't even dropped yet. <laughs> Dude, uh, nigga, this is 2000 and what, three or two? <laughs> hey, this ain't even like now a million. You, you know, feel a million. me? This Niggas is 2002. Got you know, the label got the million in Bitcoin and shit now. Ain't nothing they got no a million more. on cash yet. Yeah, that's that's nothing no more. But a million in 02? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> nigga, Damn. Why was she <laughs> cute? <laughs> he would have fucked that up. Like, what are right, you, Snoop? Snoop, he hit me. Snoop, what? He heard you fit. He fucked with you. gonna do some crazy shit with this. I'm telling you right now. You, you don't, don't get a, you know how producer be. You gonna get a bonus? You know, producer, they put, uh, producer is like the weed man. They gonna put that push on the beat. <laughs> like, you gonna, gonna, you gonna get on this? Push on it, nigga. A million, right? Look at you dead in your eyes. <laughs> you don't. Like, I get cute when this motherfucker, he gonna fuck it up. <laughs> This might bring him back after Friday. I don't know. <laughs> this might revamp a nigga. Like, it's one of them ones. Like, Mary, you ain't had shit like this and you a method man. You're like, yeah. In the studio, dead serious though. Like, <laughs> I don't even want to be around niggas in the beat the middle. I'm real with you. Bro, that's like the whole budget. Like, nigga, that's my whole label deal. <laughs> you like, damn, Dre. I can't get a, I can't get an album. Like, <laughs> shit. I know. I can't get an album. Just beat out. <laughs> <laughs> Cut Break this shit up. <laughs> Break this shit down or like, something. Like that. We need I'm a remix. Remix. <laughs> <laughs> remix we got his I'm gonna call the label first of all. <laughs> yeah. I, gotta, I, I, don't, I, I, I can't Diddy clear on the remix. I can't clear this right now. You need, <laughs> at that time, you need Diddy on the remix. A million dollar beat. I need Diddy. She was like, "What about the video?" Shit. <laughs> like, Fuck the video. That's why Dre don't be dropping music no more. His shit's so damn expensive. You gotta have a budget to do it, Doctor Dre. You gotta have an album. Because what? You Kendrick ain't Lamar. No single. Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> You better have an album ready right. for this nigga. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar might be the last nigga that had dropped with this nigga. Wait, remember T.I.M. had a song, but it never dropped a key? The label said, hold on. Was like, hold on. Dre you was like, what? We made it in the studio. Thought y'all we had. know what y'all made. Talk about the invoice. <laughs> he was like, Dr. Dre. We finna send this shit back. T.I. hit him like, Dre, man. Uh, is this right? 750000 <laughs> Is this the right zeros? Like, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Label, just tell the label, send the invoice. <laughs> Cause just imagine Dr. Dre. He probably has like every fucking resource in his. That he wants. Like, he's not even used to, like... Nigga, this is Dre. Like, money probably isn't even, like... He doesn't even, like, fathom. Like, he doesn't even, like, get it anymore. Like, like when's the last time Dr. Dre seen, like, a dollar bill? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, fucking... Nigga, Dre beats. This nigga's rich as fuck. Like, <laughs> stop so playing with Dre, nigga. He's so rich. Dre beats, That's nigga. why he can't even, like, do music with niggas. Like, he just probably, like, my have a bag. Like, like, this, like this music. That's why I only, only worked with Kendrick these last 10 years. <laughs> the label came with that bag. That's, and he ain't work with Kendrick and like shit. It's been a long that's fucking time. That's what I'm time. saying. It came with that one. That's all you need is that one. Did Mary, really, did Mary work with him again? <laughs> no. Huh? He got that one bag. Super Bowl, huh? He got the Ten, fuck up out of 15 there. 15 years later. He called him like, I got you. Remember that million I charged you? I got you with a bag on this one. Super Bowl. This shit cool. I heard they didn't even get, they didn't even get paid to uh, perform. You sound dumb as hell. No, you don't get paid to perform the Super Bowl. You didn't know that? Since when? Since forever. Travis Scott got, and then The Weeknd got money for the Super Bowl. You no, they didn't get paid. Look bro, it up. You sound crazy, bro. Travis Scott. Travis Scott got 14 million for bro, the Super Bowl. You guys and people were talking talking shit. Go look it look it up, right? Look, look it up. And they said the weekend got like 17 million. Mary J. Blige said she didn't get paid nothing. That's her. She's an add-on. You was on the guest list. Was she an add-on? Nigga, they got they it was oh, Snoop and Dre. Doc- oh, it was the it That's was- the guest list. We didn't tell you we need no millions. Wait, wait, wait. So Snoop and Dre got booked. Yes. 
and they turned it into something. Like, let's Niggas get it's, it's, like it's like when Wolf. It's like when Wolf. It's like Wolf bringing a uh, bones and me out for, for the fucking solo show. No bad. For the solo show. <laughs> Guest listen, you know what I'm saying? Y'all pulling up. I'm gonna put y'all on the song. How many songs y'all want to do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, how many songs y'all gonna do? It's my shit. Yeah, for the solo show? Got you on the guest list. Yeah, how many songs y'all pulling? You know I mean? got you on the Super Bowl shit. That y'all sales finna go it? up. Niggas finna search y'all tonight. And think about it, I haven't seen Mary J. Blige or Eminem or like even 50. They haven't performed in years, probably. Only thing I've seen Eminem do is that diss of Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> oh my Eminem God. been chilling. That's been like fucking that two, was like, three, four years now. Maybe longer than that. Maybe about five years now. That was not a five year ago diss. Was that five years? No, it was a couple years ago. Let me see like what Kill two, Shot is. Years. It's called Kill Shot. Shout out to him. He was my favorite rapper in fifth grade. That's like the first album I ever bought. Eminem is one of my favorite rappers. See, y'all don't even know about oh, warehouse yeah. music. Nigga, I, I walked to warehouse Four music years. and they sold that CD to me. I was in the fifth grade. What, to Eminem? To, warehouse, Mathis, music, LP. to warehouse music? Yeah, right there by oh, um, in the south off Archibald. It sounds like you're like, it sounds like you just went Where the uh, like police station is. It's to be warehouse warehouse music in that shopping center. It's, it sounds like you went to like 1985. Nigga, in the fifth grade. <laughs> you walked to the They warehouse. sold me that CD. You walked to the fucking... Whoever you are, why the fuck did you sell me that CD in fifth grade? That, I think I was, I remember uh, I played that number 18, the criminal. Get laced, huh? Trying to get a little drinky drink. I played that criminal in my house. My dad walked in like, see the chicken, the gym, chicken me out. Like, like what the fuck is this nigga listening? I'm a criminal. Yeah, I'm a criminal. My dad was like, this, what the fuck is this nigga on? I love him. My, uh, I, I, hope, thought he, I, I thought he was the hardest rapper. I thought that was the hardest shot I ever heard. I, mean, but I was in fifth grade. One of the hardest rappers. His old shit. When he was drugged up, he was hard. That's what it is, and I feel like when you get sober like that, you don't want to perform the old shit, because yeah. I feel like it takes you when to he, that. When he got sober, it, it, was, it wasn't that. him no more. When he was drugged up, though, you always make the best. You ain't want to fuck with him, I'm telling you. You know what now. it is? M- not Eminem, just in general. Rap is one of those things where it's like, it's such a young genre. Is it? Yeah, rap came out, what, 1979? So, like, think about it. It's only, like, fucking 20 years older than us down there. You know what I'm saying? Like, Rap only been out since 79. Yeah, the first rap song came out. Huh? In 1978 is the first rap song. Uh, hip, hop, a hip, 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 uh, rappers delight. Like, crack to that. Rappers delight. Like. <laughs> 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 they were smoking yeah, crack to that. <laughs> rappers delight like is the first. In the crack song. house, fresh as fuck. This goes to hitting crack. <laughs> yeah, Sugar Hill Gang, Rapper Delight. That song came out in 1978. For sure, smoking crack. But it was released in 1980, and then rap started from there. Because you got to think, like, Jay-Z and all them, they're like... Hold think on, about it. Why Jay-Z's it take two only... years to drop that? It was a street song first. They Who the was, fuck they was holding that back, was... Sony? <laughs> 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 they were fucking... You got you to you gotta recoup. Like, we you got to recoup back. this shit first. They were fucking... Dr- was they were it. singing it at like little rap shows and shit. For, <laughs> at, at disco uh, shows. Uh, hip, uh, hip, 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 yeah, they were smoking bam, crack. Bam, bam, bam. But think about, songs was way longer back then. D- bro, we grew up on Gucci, man. Come on. Songs you used to do three verses. Gucci used to do three verses. Come on. You forgot about that? Three verse Gucci? By yourself. By yourself. Every song. When I first started rapping, when I was a little kid, I used to be like fucking three verses, two verses at least. And I used to feel like two verses would like me short. I ain't never been the long verse, nigga. Everybody know I'm, Bro, I, I dropped a song that was 45 seconds before. Bones got me on doing one verses. I used to do fucking like laughing? two, three verses. Even my first mixtape is like all two verses. Yeah, I'm in and out. Yeah. No, I'm talking about two verses. Like I used Oh, to, your first shit. Yeah, like edibles and the bakery, all two verses. Oh, you know, your West Coast shit. Yeah. The I trap see. shit can't be that long. Can't be that long with the trap. You can't get it. Even me though too much Gucci on. Man used to do it like that though. Because it was only two niggas doing trap. It was him, Jeezy, and uh, T.I. So he used to have long songs, T.I. It was only three niggas doing it. Now there's so many niggas. You gotta, you, you gotta get, get that out and get to the next song. Yeah, people just don't have patience for that shit no more. Everybody's patience is so. I don't have patience at all either. Yeah, like people don't have patience to be just fucking. When I see a song come up and they say four minutes, I'm like, damn, who the fuck on this? I be thinking that shit too, okay, all the time. Like, like, if the song is long, like, hold on, I'll be over it. Is it three key. verses? Yeah, like I don't know why. Like I feel like I can get out what I need to say. It like that'd be a minute intro in one verse. I can get out what I gotta say, and it's we do hooks just, too. Because you just been doing it, that's why. Yeah, like I just know what to say. But like the label that. told you we need to we need two verses. Oh, the label don't say that. When they want an album, they want two verses. Look at them like you crazy. That's too much. You, you know you signed me, right? I've been I don't doing even one know verse. What songs now, like even now, like what artist does two verses still? Kendrick, Kendrick, Kodak definitely does. He'll do three verses too still. That's what I'm saying. Kodak a real rapper. Real rap niggas gonna yeah. do the verses. I ain't no rap nigga. I'm just I'm just rapping. 
Does Future do two verses? They're all industry, though. I feel like industry standards, you have to do two verses. You can't be in that studio for one verse. Yeah, you have to this do shit two. shit costs too much for that one. And they and I feel like the songs are like on a different caliber, I guess. They are. Like different, that one. whole different beat, all the time. You yeah. feel me? Everything is just different. Yeah, it's like for that's the just kids. some street trap shit. Some trap shit. It's a hundred percent what he just said. Some really some trap shit. You hear me still? My mic sound crazy right now. Yo, 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 Get off your phone, bro. What you doing? I'm laughing because like we dropped that snippet today. You didn't laugh at all. I'm in my head. I'm laughing. LOL. This nigga just said I'm laughing. LOL. And was not laughing at <laughs> all. Looking at his phone, serious face. It's funny because people people really shook up about me saying I can beat up. You see, I got into it with the nigga on Twitter today. Yeah. It's always niggas like that on on. T- what the fuck? Yo, yo. I hear you. Yeah. But I couldn't hear myself though. You hear me now? Yeah. I can't hear myself. Hold you said hold it. Oh, there we go. There we What's go. Oh, yeah, we still have a minute. But what are you saying about the kid, though? Oh, the kid. <laughs> the kid on Twitter. <laughs> the kid on Twitter. They got hot. It's the light, the alcohol. It's <laughs> Hey. Yeah, no. So on this kid on Twitter and stuff like that. So like people have been all shook up because I said I can beat up Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia, and I wouldn't get knocked out by Mayweather. That's dead ass. It's not knock on wood. Watch Mayweather see you at Seven Eleven, be like, "Bitch ass nigga," and just knock you out. And you go viral. Hey, Devin Haney broke up India Love. What the fuck? This guy do anything? That's how this all started. Because I think I was talking about India Love, and I was like, "Oh, let me not talk her boyfriend. Might not try to, but that's not a boyfriend. It's her boyfriend anymore." You just sound obsessed with India Love because I don't know why you just do India Love in there. We're gonna put India Love. I'm putting that out there. On this putting what out there? That, that might be my girlfriend one day. You know, you gotta manifest stuff like that on these type of podcast interviews. You know what I'm saying? Hey. This is a grown. Hey, look at look at AC looking. He look, gonna be look. AC looking because he like he be saying shit and it be coming to fruition. He looking like look, that. It's he a like, grown man trying to manifest India Love. What do you mean? That's real. I'm manifest manifesting. That's what Wiz did. They got Amber Rose, his baby mama. He manifested. You don't remember he said in the interview? They're like, who you want? He was like, I love that Amber Rose. Y'all remember that? He pulled her. He was rich. I'm moderately, independently wealthy. <laughs> I'm independently wealthy. I love how you like to just say you're wealthy. I love it. It's independently wealthy. What does that mean exactly? Independently wealthy is like, I'm self-paid. It's like I could take her to, I can take her to a nice little dinner. Why you? Why you don't have a specific place? It's just, it's not specific. You go to Nobles? Can I go to Noble? We could do Noble for sure. It's, gonna hit, it's not gonna hurt the bank. It ain't gonna hurt the she bank. Run it up. She can eat. <laughs> <laughs> she can. He said she, she can, can eat. eat. She not can. not run it up, but she, she can, can eat. eat. She can. Hey, she, you, know, you, you ain't that hungry. Hey, baby, you can get whatever you want. You gonna see the list and be like, you be eating all that? I've taken girl to Noble before. Who? My ex, Big Titty. We took her to Nobles. I took her to Noble for her birthday. You know, Noble is not that crazy. You know what it is? It just depends who you go with. Why? Because you go with the wrong girl, then she's going to go crazy. Like, my whole thing is like this. Just because you can pay three, four thousand $4,000 for a meal, that doesn't mean you should pay $3,000 for a meal. Nigga, if you come eating with me, we try, we, the bill is $3,000, i am skedaddling. I feel like the most I've Ain't I no way for, in hell. I remember one time I went to dinner with a girl. Food don't cost that much. If you're, it depends who you're going with. Three thousand dollars? Oh no, three thousand dollars for my birthday. I think it was like three thousand dollars for like everybody. At How many fucking people? Boa, it was like fucking fourteen, fifteen of us. That's different. Day. You feel me? Yeah, like that's. Well, you talking about three thousand? It's only two of us. Like, oh, I would. What the fuck? That's crazy. That sounds crazy as fuck. I feel like niggas do that though. Oh, it's some niggas that that's running that. I feel like there's certain women that will just press that button and like. You know, it's gonna saying? get left at the time. I remember one time I went to I went to the Cheesecake Factory one time. I'm taking a girl out. I fuck with Cheesecake Factory. I love Cheesecake Factory. I don't love it. I fuck with it though. I like it. I, you know, people be talking about Cheesecake Factory. People get, on roots. people get on and they forget their roots. I remember I took a girl to Cheesecake Factory. I ordered like you know some pasta or some shit. You know what I'm saying? She ordered some crazy shit. Bro, she ordered two meals. 
She said, hold on. She orders the pasta, and she's all like, yeah, can I get some steak on the side? And they're like, well, we don't do steak on the side. You have to order a whole steak meal, like 60 bucks. The bitch orders a whole steak meal for 60 bucks. I was tripping. I was like, whoa. Because I feel like an average day for me, I'm going to pay like $200 for most of the time on the day. bitch, you ordered a side But it's just a principle. 60? That gesture, the whole nother meal on top of a meal. Why did you just get the steak and got the pasta side? Exactly. Or why did you just get a steak and not get pasta? Why do you order two meals? Bitch, you ain't on, on, on dinner date with Drake? And that's what it is. It's baked, not Drake, baby. It's baked, not Drake. Hey, that might um, be a little. I don't like how you just try to throw a caption in there. You don't right like now. you like that. Huh? That's not cool though. You like that, huh? It's baked, not Drake. It's, I mean, it, it's catchy, but I don't like it though. It's baked, not Drake. Don't try to run with that. You the type of nigga try to drop an album and a mixtape, seventies <laughs> mixtape. Can I get a shirt? Not, no, baked, that's corny as fuck. It's baked, not Drake. No, that's corny, bro. I feel like if I did that, like Drake would fuck with that. Why do you think Drake gonna even know you acknowledge that you did some shit like that? He's gonna be like, that's some cool shit. He that's like how that. Drake talk? That's some cool shit, bro. We're not even gonna get into all that. I think, a, I think uh, uh, I think Drake. This nigga said it's Bake, not Drake. It's Bake, not Drake. I'm not feeling that. Did you like Drake's last album? What was his last album? The Pretty Boy shit. I don't even know if I listened to it for real. You didn't say so you didn't like it, obviously. I ain't been listening to Drake for real. No, I thought you loved Drake. I do. I do like your guy. It is. But I'll be, I, my mood be changed. I can't just listen to Drake. I got to be in the mood to listen to Drake. What have you been on lately? Uh, I've been on some, man. I've been on, who have been on my phone? 2000, baby. You from Seattle? <laughs> so, what? I think this is like the second time you told me about it. I have to listen to him now. 2000, baby. That's what I've been on. Crazy. That's what I've been on. Who else I've been on? Is it like some trap? I know you like the trap. R3 the Chili Man. Oh, I fuck. I'm fucking with R3 the Chili Man. Stone, it's the S5. Who's that? He's R3 the Chili Man. He rapped with him, S5. Okay. I think it's Stone the Fit. I like the R3 the Chili Man, dude. Come on, I shit. That's that I shit, huh? We need to reach out, huh? Come on, man. Got you. I'm going to reach out. I I actually ain't going to lie. I actually liked the uh, video. I saw one of our producers. Cali. Cali, Cali posted him today, and I liked the video. And I'm like, that shit hot. That shit hot. I fuck with that shit. It's like some new little. Some... I've been. Why you, why you say little? Why? I don't mean little by their little. I don't mean to be little. I don't literate. like when niggas say it's some little. Like the, like some little I feel like you be little when niggas doing no, that. Just say it's some, new, it's some new shit. It's like, like some new little. Why you crazy? You, crazy? Little in there? you know what I'm saying? Well, somebody say, yeah, I need Baker some new little shit going on right now. And if somebody said like that, like, man, Baker, that dude, man, a little tape you drop, man, shit crazy. Like, I fuck with it. Like, I say it like that, man. Some little, some heat, oh, man. Some little heat, right? Just like that little name, not needed. I feel that. But yeah, I've been on them. Don't come to me with the goons, God. Yeah, I ain't been on. I ain't really been <laughs> on the Drake and shit. I ain't. I ain't been on no R and B love songs at all. I've just been on full just trap mode. Are you in love right now? Or what? No. No, what type of love? Why do I have to be in love listening to love songs? I mean, it helps. No, I, I used to listen to love songs and clean the crib, but lately I just been cleaning the crib to, to trap shit, going yeah. crazy. Like I don't feel like I've been bumping trap shit that much lately. What you been on, Sade? Like Fleetwood Mac, Stevie Nicks. Why you been on that? I don't know. I like feeling like I'm in like the forest when I'm cleaning up. I like feeling like a woodsman. I like feel like I'm in nature. Why do you always have to have like a scene, a, scen- a scenario, and a I'm character? I'm a very when you fucking descriptive Why man. Why you can't just be Eddie Baker cleaning? Because I'm a descriptive man. I'm a you complicated have to listen man. Listen to Clint. Who? Who is it? <laughs> Clint, who? who you gotta listen to? He said Clint Eastwood. <laughs> Clintwood. I was finna say Eastwood. Who you got? Who you listen to? Uh, it's Fleetwood Mac. Yeah, you listen to that. You want to be in the forest? I like that. Nigga, you from the city? You ain't you ain't been in no forest. Is Ontario the city? Small town city. Cowboy. <laughs> I was like, cowboy. We, we cowboys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We from cow city, town. Yeah. But you know what I mean? You're not from no fucking forest, nigga. You know I'm getting that. <laughs> Don't kill. He wants to be in the forest. Like you, I like you? feel like cleaning up. Like feel like I'm in a cabin. Why you want to be in a cabin? Why not? See, that's that. You, I forgot you grew up in a trailer park. You like different type of shit. <laughs> Cause I don't even I don't think no regular nigga gonna say some shit like that. Oh, uh, a different lifestyle. So I, I feel I feel it. You feel me? But I don't. A feel very it. alternative lifestyle. You like that you live the alternative lifestyle? I like the alternative lifestyle. Is it, I want to live one day. I feel like I want to live like. Is that what we call it? Being poor, alternative. <laughs> <laughs> is that a good way to say it? You live an alternative lifestyle when you're poor, for sure. You live crazy lifestyle. <laughs> If you ain't never lived with your grandma, you ain't never been poor for real. <laughs> I lived with my grandma half my life. 
<laughs> I'm let you know that right now. I lived with my grandma half my life. Is a... We barely got our grandma house. Yeah, my man. parents was in there too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, every, it was just me. Everybody goes through that. Oh, me, this nigga said I lived the alternative lifestyle. Nigga, we was broke, man. I ain't alternative mm-hmm. about that. I know. I went to uh, I went to go visit my mom yesterday. We went to my old mobile home. Oh, I see you took a picture uh, with somebody the other day. Where was you at? Uh, I was at the bank. Oh yeah, I'm at the bank chilling, big ass line, and this kid comes <laughs> just skirt, pulls up, hops out. <laughs> first, he just does that to me at first. I'm first. I'm I love that Ontario shit. Like, what's love the deal? It. I love getting recognized. Like, you supposed to know what the, what the deal is. Like, you nigga, know, what's good? Like, that's what it is. Yeah, it like, like nigga, you in Ontario, no you know talk, what the deal is. That's what it was. It you was know like, what's going on? It was no talking. Yeah. It was just like, what's up, bro? my pick. What's the deal? That's exactly what okay. he said. Come he on, like, what's now. up, bro? I just saw you, bro. I had to hop out. Whenever I see that Ontario, you know what it is. And you could tell everybody in line, he just gave me Who the fuck is this nigga? I know. That was so Nigga, the bank like me. Nigga, better not be no celebrity. Niggas be hating that shit. Well, when they random, like... When somebody want to take a picture with you, they just be like, they be lucky hating, hate, like, because they don't know who you are. They be like, who is this nigga, like... You think that's what it is? I swear I'll be getting that. And then, like, we don't say nothing after. You got to act very casual after. What I'm going to say? It's like, oh, yeah, I think you're supposed to. I make music. That's why you took a picture with me. Like, what the fuck? If you don't know who I am, you don't know who I am. Yeah, I mean, my philosophy is just because you don't know I'm famous doesn't mean I'm not famous. I just feel like people be like, doing all that in here, like... Little, little individual. I'm about to take a picture with somebody. Somebody said, "Why he do that?" Like, bitch, what you mean? Why he do that? <laughs> you got me fucked up. Like, <coughs> you don't know who I am. Like, <laughs> make it on Google. Is your son on Google? Probably That's what not. it is. It's like just because you don't know I'm famous, don't mean I'm not famous. Yeah, bitch. Is your son, on, is your son on Google? He come here on limo. Son's a loser. Not on Google. Yeah, we're out here. Come on, stop playing with me. Yeah, we're out here. So Lady, okay. whoever you are, your son's not on Google. Okay. If you, get, if you get Google, you're out here in the streets. You're out here in the streets. He said, why he do that? Like, what you mean? No, it was very funny. Yeah, I went to uh, Ontario, visited my grandparents and shit. That was a cool one. Y'all Where's love you that? You know what they wanted? What, scissor? Popeyes. They black as hell. Black as hell. I was like, they didn't want to go out to eat. They wanted Popeyes. Like, like, get some chicken, baby. Wait, going off. I like, come all the way from LA to Ontario to visit them. And you want Popeyes? And I'm like, all right, what do y'all want to eat? You know, I always bring the food or like we'll go out to eat. I'm like, what do y'all want? Popeyes. Well, well I'll take one of those. You heard about that spicy chicken sandwich? Like they grandma. Put- <laughs> you know Wait. Damn well, they had that sandwich. Wait, but I'm like, Grandma, like, yes, I know about the spicy chicken sandwich that they're killing niggas over at, That there were a bunch of murders over her. She'd be at the house watching TV. The commercial <laughs> done ran by 17 I, I'm times. I'm like, where did you? You just heard about she the said, spicy. As soon as Eddie called, we're going to Popeye. I know that for sure. She saw like, she's like, yeah, let me get that spicy chicken sandwich that they talking grandma, about. You not need no spicy in chicken two sandwich. wings. In two wings. In the wing dinner. Came all the way out there. Black people always throwing in the in the like. <laughs> I couldn't do that when I was little. I had to get the, the double cheeseburger. That's a, it. It's just the one or the only. When I ask for fries, we're gonna I share fries. fries. I'll take some such a set. My grandma. That's yeah. just far to be going for some damn Popeyes. I'm like, y'all let's pick a better damn restaurant. I'll okay, pick. somewhere like. I told her too. I was like, we can go to the Mexican restaurant down the street. The nice Mexican restaurant. I, like, I don't want the Mexican food. I'll take some chicken. I'm like, okay. what restaurant down the street? It's like there's some Mexican restaurant off. I think I took you there before off Mountain. Oh, it's um the uh, Casa de Menes. The little, the one off Mountain when you pass Philadelphia, the nice one, the one getting off the freeway, not the big one though. That's the, the that's the good one. Me and you have went there before. No, I haven't. Yes, bro, the Mexican food spot. It's like in the cut. You swear I've been there. I don't think I've been there. All right, we gotta go. I gotta show you. This nigga be the swearing I've been. I don't think I've been there. It's gonna be the new spot. It's not gonna be the new spot. Just because you go there, don't mean it's, it's a new, spot. new spot. If it's not popping, it's not the new spot. You gonna turn it up? You know where I haven't went? Hot Atlanta. Hot Atlanta or Hot Atlanta? Is it Hot Atlanta? Yeah. <laughs> I said Hot Atlanta. This nigga called it Hot Atlanta. Why is a place in the, the California called Hot Atlanta? It's called promotion. It's like some. It sounds like niggas is in there, so you gonna go there? And that shit been around. I was in Hot Atlanta like when I first moved to the IE. I never been there. It's cool. Is it you used to know the grill in there? Or something? Yeah. I remember you used to always be posting a grill. Yeah, I got the, got the food for the low in really? there. Oh, man, man, I get like I get like four five meals for five dollars. Really, man, with the dessert, <laughs> with the Kool Aid. Stop playing. That's why that's why I was going in there so much to be real. But you know, we had not your mama's wings now. You know what I'm saying? I was just gonna say not your mama. They ain't paying me for that though, but they should. That promo. I we need a spot. Can we get catered on the show? Yeah, can we get some? Can I get some syrup cups? Not your mama. Can I get some coffee cups or something? A t shirt? Some. Uh, some uh, honey gold wings. Can we, get, can we get a thirty piece. We need like a little a thing of honey gold wings every episode. Just right. Not here. every episode, but we, you know what I'm saying. Every episode, that'd be cool. 
That's once a week. A little. That is only once a week. Huh? A little twelve piece, six each. Thirty piece. A little thirty piece. Y'all feed cameraman and everybody. We don't know. We don't know who's gonna be there. We got the whole. Crew. Can't be stingy with the wings. You feel me? We need the thirty piece. You know what thirty saying? piece. A little fries. Take something to go, huh? What you mean? Yeah. Yeah. That honey gold is some crazy shit. I ain't had it. You ever had the honey gold? You're dead serious. You ain't had the honey gold? Really? No, you act like it's worldwide. Nigga, no. Is it that good? Sir. It's not that good, bro. You just delicious. you just did too much for that fucking honey gold. <laughs> it is not that fucking good, bro. Sir. You the number one spokesman for it, obviously. It's fucking crazy. What is it? It's just like some honey gold, nigga. It's some what is is it hot sauce and honey? It's like it's not even hot. It's like a sweet nectar. Is that a noise? <laughs> hey, bro, you gotta chill the fuck out with that. You know when you do that? No, I don't do that. It's like a cat. You know when something's good, you get that because you're trying to take all the. Bro, nobody does that but you. Stop, stop, stop doing that <laughs> weird shit talking about do I hear it. Nigga, what the fuck? Why are you making that creep ass? That's just a regular fat nigga noise eating, nigga. In the room by yourself, lights off with the TV on. Oh, shit. You're fucking talking about... That's that good shit, man. That honey gold is crazy. I'm telling you, we need to bring the... I'm, tell, I'm telling Johnny, he took over the restaurant. So I was telling him, we need to bring it out here. Gosh, your mama's in LA? Yeah. Hit that up. Put them on some chicken strips, honey gold chicken strips. See, I can't even be saying too much on that podcast stuff, giving away the drip. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to put the homie on? You got, the homie got to pass? I'm saying, like, because we about to invest and do it. I don't want the other chicken people to see us. If they they hearing about Honey Gold now. They might come out to Honey Gold. Exactly. Like, it's different if, that, like, you hear the word, the streets talking about it. Like, oh, yeah, you're about it's on, it's on live TV. Yeah, we can't be just taking it. Gold. I mean, take the, if you if you go to Ontario, go to Not Your Mama's Chicken off Grove and 4th Street. Or, no, excuse me, Grove and... Uh, Philadelphia, I believe. It's on Grove in Philadelphia. Grove in Philadelphia. Go to Nacho Mama's Chicken. It's owned by my brother, Johnny. Jonathan Cash. And go out there and check out that Honey Gold Chicken because that shit is fucking crazy. That's great promo. And you can put that shit on some shrimp. Some what shrimp. they pay you for that? They ain't pay me. I'm t- my invest. I don't, I don't like deals behind my back. <laughs> I need my percentage. <laughs> that was a big little promotion right yeah, there. Yeah, what they pay you for? I need something, huh? Like, like we might need that catering because of that right there. That might need like at least like two little two episodes of catering just for that little promo. You doing negotiations while we record? That's funny. Yeah, because when you see that, we need to know like when they start like saying that. We gotta actually tell them before you see it. Yeah, we gave you that promo. I, I, I need my wings. What's a ranch? I don't do all that. You don't like ranch on the wings? No. Really? No. That's nuts. You eat ranch no, on pizza? No ranch <laughs> you said no ranch. Nuts. No ranch is nuts. Nigga, y'all are nasty. You do ranch on your wings? Wings already have sauce on them. Okay, ranch is just that extra. Oof. That shit's so, so fucking gross, bro. This guy just told me he doesn't like thousand dollars on the burgers either. Though. Not anymore. Just I like used ketchup. to. I just yeah, like ketchup and mustard. What the fuck? No mayonnaise. No. No, nah, I never like mayonnaise. First yeah, most of all. black people don't like mayonnaise. I don't like that shit. I'm going to keep it real. Me. I didn't like mayonnaise my whole life. And one day, one time my white girlfriend made me a sandwich. He said, damn, what's that man? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? This shit go crazy. This shit was fucking fire. I was like, what the fuck is this shit like this mayonnaise? I was like, what the fuck is mayonnaise? And cucumber like, celery dressing. Oh my God. And ever since then, I eat mayonnaise now. I won't eat a sandwich without mayonnaise. I can't even eat a sandwich without mayonnaise. This nigga just threw a pile of mayonnaise on some shit. I'm looking at this nigga like, what is that? You put mayonnaise on some shit. You didn't put, you fucking destroyed it with mayonnaise. I have to eat mayonnaise on my sandwich now. It was like, I don't know how it went so long. And the sandwich eat- was this big. I don't know how it went so long that with be- mayonnaise. I'm like, bro. What and I have the to get fuck? the squeezy, the squeezy. See, that's how you know he's disgusted because he has to have a lot. I have to have he a squeezy. He can't spread it. He got No, I'm not a spreader. I'm a squeezer. I got to squeeze it on every bite. Oh. Yeah, I'm a mayonnaise guy. I don't want nothing you cooking or preparing now because that was disgusting. That might be like my biggest, like, darkest secret that I love. It's not a dark secret because it's on camera now. It's on camera. I'm not ashamed. I hope somebody clipped this and just runs this back until you go viral talking about mayonnaise I and that little mayo. noise and all that. Because that is just nasty. I love mayo. So good. It's not. So good. You like mayo? <clears throat> Look at him. He's like, yeah, I love it. My homie likes it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> hey, see, you don't like it. Hey, see the Italian. What does that mean? You know what I'm saying? Italians don't eat me. Italians you speak are, for all Italians? I follow the Everything Italian page. And you guys are very picky. 
<laughs> Y'all like Olive Garden? Oh my God, Olive Garden to Italian? That's a big thing for That's him. That's disrespectful. I, I, I be, <laughs> hey, you see how he had to get Hey, up. that shit fire, though. <laughs> that shit be busted. I love Olive Garden, nigga. I be seeing them on TikTok. They be, like, they be taking their parents, but we finna go eat. They be like, where? Olive Garden. They be like, oh yeah, you be seeing that shit, huh? I'm like, Olive Garden? That, don't like, take me to that fucking. No, you didn't see the, the one where uh, the girl, she put the Olive Garden pasta in a bowl, <laughs> and she gave it to her grandma, like, the taste. Like, grandma, how'd you like my pasta? And the grandma was like, well, it's straight, it's straight. And then she, like, took a couple bites. And she says Olive Garden, and the grandma just starts spitting it out in the fucking seat. Why are y'all just so against Olive Garden? Because the it's all about the sauce. It really comes down to the sauce. Why are y'all so the crazy? Because no, what do y'all call the gravy? Y'all like call the, the gravy? It's the gravy. It's the gravy. Yeah, man. got the gravy ready. But it's, the it's gravy. like the seasoning, bro. Like Olive Garden, it just is like prego. It's fire. Remember we used to go to Olive Garden. It's like, like every, yeah, every week, week we yeah, that motherfucker put what deal they had? Uh, we get the lunch special or yeah, some shit. Going crazy. The two, no, we buy one, take one home. Ooh. Me and this nigga was in that motherfucker like every every day. day. It was and they gave you the little the little sample of wine in there. Oh my god, the little shot. I'm in yes. there getting loose off the wine with the pasta. We was in that bitch every day. Nigga, I thought I was Danny DeVito. Oh, it was the unlimited pasta. <laughs> we went for the unlimited pasta. Me and this nigga ugly. We'll Danny get high DeVito. as hell. <laughs> Come the fat nigga shit. We would get high as hell. And <laughs> niggas would talk about on the way, like, what you finna get? What, what you finna take home? What you finna take home, though? Oh my God. Oh we would get on there. God. Unlimited the lady, pasta. One of the ladies that served us, we went there so much, she already knew what the deal is. Like, <laughs> so y'all, to, oh, yeah, all right, for sure. I, got, I, I, get, I get it for you right now. Like, we was in that they would have us our little table. On nigga. me to the side. Every, same table, too. No it was bullshit. The same table. That's how, which one, which Olive Garden? Is? Chino? The only Chino, nigga. Yeah, shout out to them, on nigga. We was shout out to crazy. Olive Garden Chino. I'm that was... to think of like a relative example for like, Soul food, you know what I'm saying? Like the so, like the you can't even get if you think about soul food. Okay, no, like pop, like a KFC. Everybody hates that's KFC. Soul food. <laughs> that's the equivalent. That's supposed to be soul food, low key. KFC is soul food. Yeah, that I mean, terrible. Think about it: Kentucky Fried Chicken, mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese, collard greens. But get the see how random people just pop up on blood talk. Blood talk, real ghetto. Still Carter and bitch get up. You didn't get your cameo? This nigga had to get the walk by. He got the new chain. He said, let me go. Hold on. All right, you said the... You got to get the mic back ready. He just took the lighter. Real ghetto shit. Welcome to Blunt Talk. (laughs) But no, what are you saying though? Okay, hey, whoa. You're doing too much now, bro. Oh. Mafia, what up, nigga? Hey, get... Yeah. Do you see what's going on with this? Trill. What up, Trill? Trill. We bitch. on Blood Talk. We on Blood we on Talk. Blood Talk. What's the deal? We on Blood Talk in this motherfucker. We got the hottest in the streets, man. You know what I'm saying? We need you on here, man. We need Live you on here. Live and direct. Here. You heard it. Live and direct. You heard it from Trilliano, man. You heard it from Trill. I heard it from Trilliano. But, um... We not mad. But we, we, you know what I'm saying? We ain't, we ain't never mad. It's Blood Talk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> not mad. <laughs> <laughs> tell nigga we mad. We not mad. It was blood streets. Talk, we nigga. mad, nigga. We, we mad. The streets, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, this is a podcast for the streets, nigga. We want them on the, We want them on the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Right. A lot of those other podcasts, they talk about they from the street. Really still in the streets, nigga. We in the basement still, nigga. I'm waiting still in the basement. I'm waiting, on the, waiting on the podcast. On the, I don't Spotify. know who owned this building. You know what I'm saying? We waiting on the Spotify deal. Who playing? <laughs> Joe Rogan gonna hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Rogan. Can Joe Rogan make like a little label, a sub label? You want to sign? Are you signing? You want to sign any type of deal? You so thirsty. Are we signing? This look, nigga trying to sign any I've been Spotify deal. I've been, hey, Come I've been on, independent man. rapper. He was just preaching about independent. I've been range. an independent rapper my whole career. But you going to sign? You gonna go I'm with, signing the podcast. You gonna, <laughs> he said, the podcast, I'm going with the label. <laughs> I'm though. going with the label. I'm going with the label. We're independent <laughs> on the podcast. <laughs> I didn't did the independent <laughs> shit. Have the I gave these niggas enough free shit. You feel me? We going. We need the deal for the pot. I need the Patreon. The Patreon. Would you sign to Joe Rogan if he made like a little label and he starts signing podcasters? I can't sign it, bro. He giving us fifty mil. Damn! Why you gotta put them numbers <laughs> out there? Luck. Twenty mil. Look, look, look. The engineer that luck. Look, AC gonna sign before I sign. I signed for you. So I signed first. You gotta go. You gotta go. The engineer over there. We gotta go. Like he said, the engineer. <laughs> there. That's his reason. We gotta go. <laughs> Like everybody on mad, but AC slides, so we have to go. You know, you man. Camera, man. I mean, shit, I couldn't do it without him. Yeah, that's blood talk. That's <laughs> they ain't gonna give a Spotify deal. We got too much blackness going. 
Niggas coming with chains, smoking <laughs> hella weed, <laughs> curls and shit, white teeth. What what would take you ten million? We signed to Joe Rogan. I thought it was fifty. I'm just saying, I'm taking the number down now. We just signed. No, nah, I need the fifty piece now. You wouldn't sign for ten? Of course I would. Well, I'm about to say, what the <laughs> fuck? We signed it for ten. Hey, you looking like nigga? You better sign. You no, know, you got. You know what I'm saying? Who going four four? Two. You know what I'm saying? On the back. Don't work it out. Hey, straight. Three hey, don't make me OGZ, yo. <laughs> that nigga said, don't make me OGZ, yo. Nigga gonna take the label? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but this Blunt Talk, man, I'm Chili Sosa. Eddie Baker. And that's Sellers. <laughs> Ghetto as hell. Ghetto as hell. This has been a pretty good episode. It's a fire episode, man. Keep tuning in. And we'll see you again. Blunt Talk. Point. So with that point. That's what's cool, all right? That shit was corny as shit. <laughs> 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 What's up with that point?